All right, if you're watching this video, we're going to do the charging by induction handout together. This is in case you miss class. So to charge something by induction, say, for example, we have an uncharged metal sphere. Uncharged meaning it has an equal number of positive charges as it does negative charges on its surface. Let's say we bring a charged rod into the sphere. And let's say this rod has extra electrons on it. If it has extra electrons, it overall has a negative charge. So I hope you're annotating this. This causes the sphere to become polarized. What it does is it forces the electrons to the back of the sphere, to the opposite side, because opposites repel. I'm sorry, opposites attract and like charges repel. So the electrons move to the other side of the sphere. The electrons move to other side due to repulsion. Now if the sphere was positively charged, uh, or if the rod was positively charged, this is our rod, then uh, negative charges would move forward. But in this case, because in our example, the rod is negatively charged, this forces electrons to move to the other side of the sphere due to repulsion. The sphere here becomes polarized. So there are two sides now for charge on the sphere. What you can do then is connect a ground. Now the rod is still negatively charged. Having this negatively charged rod next to the sphere and connecting a ground, that's what this black wire is, this represents the ground, allows, this allows the electrons that are on the sphere to travel literally into the ground. They can move off of the sphere. So negative charges, this is where they go now electrons travel down to the ground. Please note throughout all of this, it's the electrons that are able to move. The positive charges pretty much stay fixed in place. So the electrons travel to the ground. Now we still have the rod. What we can do is disconnect the ground. We still have the rod. With the rod still close to the sphere, you remove the ground, you remove that wire and then you're left with an overall positive charge on the sphere. So once you now remove the rod, these positive charges can distribute throughout the sphere. And now the sphere has been charged. And this whole process is known as charging by induction. And please note the law of charge conservation is not violated. The overall number, overall number of charges, number of charges stays constant. Overall, the charge gets a little more positive, becomes positively charged, and the ground gets a little more negative. But the same number of charges still exist in the universe. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Please study the rest of the PowerPoint and finish your Ed Puzzle homework on Coulomb's Law. Thanks for watching.